The kingdom of heaven is like a pearl of great price. This merchant is searching for fine pearls. And I wonder, I wonder how many times in the search of the merchant did he end up finding pearls of much, much lesser price and just being so disappointed. He had this great ideal in his mind. He knew what he wanted. He knew what he was searching for. He knew what he, his heart was longing for. And yet, and yet, so often... He came up empty. And like us, we, we're searching. We're searching for God. That's the base and heart and core of everything that each of us is searching for in this lifetime. And yet, and yet, so often when we find a pearl of lesser price, we're willing to trade in for, for that. We trade for the things that aren't going to last instead of clinging to the one that will last forever. So this merchant goes out and finally he finds that pearl of great price. And when he finds it, then he's like, Ah, this is what I've been searching for. Everything in my heart has been searching for this. And finally he goes and says, This is, this is what I need. And he gives up everything in order to get it. Why? His heart's desire will finally be fulfilled. Now, can a pearl ever fulfill our heart's desire? No, of course not. If you answered yes, you need to rethink that question. But none of us will, will be fulfilled by that, but our God will fulfill that longing. And sometimes we think, that we have to give up everything before we find the pearl of great price. I think sometimes we think that it's like we feel like we have to give up everything and then, then, then uh, God will give us what we're looking for instead of, instead of filling our hearts ahead of time. I think I shared with you a couple years ago, one of my family friends was saying he never wanted to go on Curcio because if he went on Curcio, he would have to sell his boat. There's nothing on Garcio that says you have to sell your boat. But everything in him knew that his boat was not something he wanted or, or needed for, for his life. And that it was standing in his way of searching for God. And he felt, well, if I go on Garcio, then I'm going to have this conversion. And I'm going to have to say, oh, I'm going to have to get rid of my boat. It doesn't work that way. God rather fills the emptiness. So that what we're filling with the pearls of lesser price, we no longer need to fill. Because God has filled it. You've probably heard the story about the family that was out walking the beach. And um, this family, as they're walking on the beach, the, the children are scrambling around looking for, for treasures. And one of the major treasures that they're finding are these broken shells of, uh, on the beach. And one of the sons is really collecting them and really just he's looking for anything beautiful as he's gathering them up. And then he sees it out on the waves, the starfish. And his parents say, that's your starfish. Go for it. So he runs out. He runs out to go and grab the starfish. But he, he, he can only he goes so far. Like, to the edge of the water. He's looking out. Turns around. And his parents are like, why, why are you turning around? Go for it. You can get it. Run. That's your starfish. He runs out. Pulls runner up to his knees in the water. And, uh, he turns around. And says, no, come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Get that starfish. And he runs up. And he's like, but this like almost as far as I have to worry. To the starfish, and he turns around to the parents and says, Why don't you get it? It's your starfish! And he says, Because my hands are full of shells. His hands so full of those broken shells that he wouldn't let go of in order to grab the prize. What are our hands full of? What do we cling to when God is right here saying, I want to give you everything.